Hey guys, welcome back to my City Builders channel here on YouTube. Thanks for joining in again. I quickly wanted to share something with you. Um, so far, I think the easiest way to create map overlays for city skylines um, to get realistic um, road layouts and yeah, to have all the information um, of your favorite areas available um, when you're creating your next map. So there are a couple of tools you might need. One image editing program in my case it's gonna be Photoshop because I'm using it anyway. Um, I have one screenshot to tool that I'm using called Screenpresso and I'm using a browser extension for Google Chrome that allows me to take screenshots of um, a website. So in that case I've already chosen and downloaded on Tarim Party one of my favorite areas um, of Tokyo that I want to rebuild. And I downloaded, I made sure I set the scaling to 18 kilometers. I already downloaded the zip file here and now one important step, take a quick screenshot um, of the area that you selected and afterwards you can switch to another website that I found out about. It's from made by changfolio.com Google Map Customizer. Maybe you can find it like that but I included um, already a link below in the description of this YouTube video so no reason to search for it just click on the link below um, it's a free service made by I don't know whom Aaron Cheng thanks a lot for this um, as it's really helpful and so what I'm doing now I'm selecting this roughly the district that I have chosen I'm trying to center it on the screen and I'm choosing and this is the the advantage you have I'm choosing a different dimension for the resolution so now I have a look whether on the one hand the whole area is covered still at that resolution yeah it could be could be a bit tight so I'm adding well let's say 5000 by 5000 this should still be possible I tried it previously with 10,000 10, by 10,000 pixels but that yeah kept crashing the website and I don't want to do that so I just now make sure that the area that I chose here on Tarian Party is still within these limits. Well, let's see whether that's enough or not. Yeah, it could be roughly enough. So let's move that down a little bit because I know we're above Ueno, Ueno station. So what you can do now is close that window for now, take one screenshot with the Fireshot extension, browser extension that is available for Google Chrome, but also for um, Firefox, for example then it's taking a screenshot of the whole map on its own waiting a couple of seconds and then we're good to go and you have a high resolution screenshot and I will quickly show it to you I copy this image um, open Photoshop and I create a new image and it says it has 6050 to 6050 pixels 
as something I don't need. It's absolutely okay to leave it like 4,000 by 4,000. I'm opening my uh, screenshot tool. I'm copying in um, the map screenshot tr from from Terrain Party, scaling it up to 4,000 by 4,000 pixels. Mm, and then I'm going back to Fireshot, copy image, hopefully it works in this size. Oh, no, this is the previous image, so maybe I'm just Considering to save it, mm. save image as okay. It's downloading something. Yeah, there it is. Show in folder. Ah, okay. That's the reason. It has forty something megabytes. <laughs> Ridiculous, but it's good. It's good to go. So then I have this here, which is awesome. And the other thing I would recommend you to do, because maybe you'll need it later, depending on your terrain. Don't change anything here. Just go back here to the menu and mm, choose. I would recommend choosing this one because it gives you nice water areas and you can easily select these later in your favorite image editing program and then it's going to be way easier for you to um create nice rivers and lakes like these small lakes and ponds uh, it's it will be hard to do it manually so this is not good i think this has way too much information this as well i think you could stick with this version here to be honest and then think about again capturing the entire page And let's see. Uh, okay, that's not a problem. This toolbar is still there. I should have closed it previously, but it's fine. And then again, save this image. It's going to be downloaded here. It should be a bit smaller, maybe. <coughs> so while waiting for that, um, we are taking the merged Akasaka height map from Terrain Party, copying that in, scaling it to the size of 4000 by 4000 pixels. And yeah, now the other download is ready as well. I'm copying in this map. Let's see. Yeah, it's here. So what I'm doing now is overlaying the, the, the map from Terrain Party with my map that I got from the other website 
the huge one and I only have to scale things up to a certain level that it makes sense and covers most of the area that I chose for my final city layout. I think this is pretty much it. The scaling factor went down to 70.79%. normal then we open this here and set also to seventy point seven nine percent as well because the scaling should be the same and then we're just moving things over here and I yeah I guess we're good to go. So what you can do now, and that's the reason why I'm, I also downloaded this map here. It's easy to, um, yeah, I have first, I have to, um, rasterize this layer then I can easily select um, the tolerance well, I'll set it a bit higher I, I can e easily select all the watery areas here um, if you watch my previous tutorial you see the difference um, between that process here in the other process that I originally did. Um, yeah, just to demonstration, just for demonstration purpose, I think we we are good to go with what I've selected here so far. Uh, let's pick this little piece here as well. Change that. Change this. This. This this ah, whatever yeah we could go on like that um but i think it's not necessary for now um at least not for this tutorial purpose so there i actually then accidentally selected a wrong color here but that's fine and with this selection you can create actually a new layer and fill it with black and this makes things way easier when it comes to um, creating the water areas and as you can see we have a wonderful not so good edges so far still we can start stamping um, or changing this here to the desired um, areas and it's it's as you can see it's way easier now since you have beautiful 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 um, straight lines coming from that map from that area it's so much easier this process so you you would be finished in a couple of minutes I wouldn't I wouldn't say seconds but in a couple of minutes you would be finished with editing the map um, you'd have a wonderful crisp and clear shoreline. Of course, these are bridges. This is the only thing you might get rid of, might want to get rid of later. 
Um, there is the rainbow bridge, I guess. Yeah. No, it, maybe it's not the rainbow bridge. It seems to be. No, it's not rainbow bridge. This is rainbow bridge. Um, yeah, but it's way as you can see, it's way easier to get wonderful coastlines, wonderful um, shores, straight shores that you can easily import later um, in city skylines. Yeah, so the trick is work before I'm continuing with that. It doesn't really matter for this tutorial now. The trick behind the whole thing is use fire shoot a shot as a screenshot maker for Google Maps and use this awesome service, the Google Map Customizer, made by Aaron Chang. Thanks a lot for this. It's really helpful. Um, to get your desired outcome and your um, great street and road maps overlays. If you want to have um, a look into my other tutorials, I'm linking them down below because maybe one or the other might need a little bit of help for um, when creating roadmap layouts and things like that. So yeah, thanks again for joining in today i would be really happy if you could either leave me a like uh, click subscribe click the little bell icon so that you get notified when i'm uploading a new video for cd skylines or any other city building um, software or game you could say and yeah have a good day and thanks again bye bye